Hello everyone and welcome back to Pets Dogs 2 where we are still in our flame retardant suit because yes that's right we just collected the first two of three magic crystals that we need to make the magic shield so that we can go face Evelet and take back the magic hat because uh, if we don't do that bad stuff's gonna happen we just found out that he's gonna end up getting further corrupted so yeah, uh, serious things. However, uh, I believe right now we actually have to go back to Crystal Caverns, which I think if we warp, I know we can get to Inferno Cavern here. Yeah, we can get to several places. Let's go to Inferno Cave because I believe we have to go through Crystal Caverns and I think this is gonna be a little bit of a faster way to do it. Just go back out through here. I think we come in over here. Yes, it looks like it. All right. I'm going to go back to the entrance of Crystal Caves, or Crystal Caverns, and see if we can find our way to the Polar Fields. Okay, we have made it back out here. I think we've already moved... As there's, there's really not anything over there, is there? No. But there's two areas here that have the level three rocks, and I think this one over here has a treasure chest that I'd like to... Um, like to obtain so let's do that but i suspect the other one is going to be our path through what's in here oh a smart hat interesting okay not not necessarily the most helpful but still very neat now over here i think is we're really going to need to go through though this looks like and it's a little bit precise to get the push pop up but, um, this looks like an actual path, so I'm gonna try to see if I can sneak my way through. Oh boy. There's call over there. Alright, where's a rock? I just passed one. I want to see what call is all about over here. You there. Take a little nap, I'm running by you. What is this? Hello? Oh, it's a hedgehog! Oh, he's making short work of that. Oh! I'm not sure if this is a secret of the way through, but it looks important. There's bats here, but there's also an insect. Can we catch this and just ignore the bat? Oh, there's something interesting. What is... No! We missed it! And we're probably gonna get attacked by this bat here if we're not careful. Oh, he's left us alone, kind of. Nope, now he's not. You jerk, leave me be. I'm just trying to catch bugs. Stop it. There we go. A Magellan Birdwing. Oh, 15 insects. Oh, we got a new kimono color, okay. I wonder if that's what was hiding in here. Stop this. Yeah, because I don't smell anything else. Oh, there's another insect. Leave me be. Leave me alone. This one looks like just a cabbage white, I think. Oh, an oriental clouded yellow. I don't know if that's new or not. Ow, leave me alone, you jerk. All right, I think that's all that's in this room, so I I'm going now. Oh, we do have a an arrow on the map, too. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to knock this guy out. Good day to you, sir. And good night. Polar fields, here we are. Ooh. Hello? Hugo. You're not from around here, are you, kiddo? Oh, I can tell just by looking at you. To be fair, I don't think we've exactly... <laughs> yeah, this is maybe not the best of things to wear here. The only people dressed like that around here are outsiders or fools. Either way, they don't stick around for long. So what brings you here? You're a long way from the beach. Indeed, the ice crystal is said to rest out in the polar fields. But you have one problem here. You'll be turned into a block of ice if you go out there without a warm clothing outfit. 
which it doesn't look like you have. <laughs> Very well, kiddo. Meeting you here must be fate or something. If you don't mind a palmy down, you can have one of my old ones. But I do have one request. Ripe coconuts grow in warmer parts, don't they? I've heard the milk from them is really tasty. I'll trade you my warm clothing for a ripe coconut. I've heard you can find ripe coconuts out at Dolphin Coast. Uh, makes sense. And this is apparently what they smell like. And we've learned a new smell. You can get to Dolphin Coast from South Pawville. Thanks for this. And we've unlocked the warp here. Alright. So I don't think we're going to be able to go through there in these clothes. Probably shouldn't. They're really geared for being too hot and not too cold. So let's warp back and go see if we can sniff ourselves out a coconut. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so I stopped by the fashion house just to see some of the things that we unlocked. Also because we have just an enormous amount of gold. But these materials we've been getting, they unlock things. That's what it is. Oh! Oh my goodness. Well... It looks like we've got some new potentially good new accessories to look at. Oh? Well... Looks like those are ripe coconuts growing up there. But well, we can't reach them. How can we get one down? Oh, time to throw rocks. Well, kids, you heard it here first. When you don't know how to solve a problem, try throwing rocks at it. Let's see. Yeah, we can sniff it. There's a prairie dog. Hold on. Hold the phone. Prairie dog. Okay, you you really just can see exactly where they are, except I oh no, I did get him. You caught a prairie dog, <laughs> super dog food, yay! Uh, yep, I, I'm glad that they like playing that game because it's a little bit easy to cheat. <laughs> All right, so where do we need to? Oh, I guess we can't sniff with this. Just huck a or huck a huck a rock at the tree and get a coconut down. There it is. It's a good thing we weren't standing under there. There we go. Great! We got a ripe coconut! So this is a ripe coconut. It's not quite as exciting as I expected. Here you go, as promised. Ooh, and we got some warm clothing. If you wear this warm clothing, you'll be able to walk safely around the polar fields. However, please remember this. They won't totally protect you from the cold. Make sure you warm yourself up every now and then as you go. You can have this, too. Hey, we got the warm clothing pattern. If you want a different color, bring these to the fashion house. Then they should be able to start selling them there, too. Now we can travel freely through the polar fields. Let's go find the ice crystal. And we have geared up. As you can see, I did end up splurging a little bit for some... Uh, Custom colored clothes here. I figured we may as use use some may as well use some of the vast fortune we've been amassing. But this should keep us safe. Let's go ahead, well safer, and into the polar fields we go. When we're somewhere cold, that gauge at the top left of the screen will start to move. If the gauge reaches all the way to the right, you'll suffer from frostbite. Take a break in hot spring before that happens, and the gauge will return to normal. Okay, so I'm guessing is this a hot spring? Oh, this is a hot spring. Okay, so we can we can jump right in there if we need to. Penguins? Heck yeah, what are you gonna give me? <laughs> Do we miss him? 
Oh, we missed him. No! Alright, we're gonna get this one. We're gonna get this one. No, you're sliding. Come here. <laughs> what do you have? I want the, I want your clothes. A reindeer horn. Oh, I bet that's a Christmas clothing. That's a bear. That's just a bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. If I throw rocks at you, are you, you gonna get mad or are you gonna... Are you gonna take a nice snooze? Nap time? Yes, good. I enjoy your enjoy your nap. Uh, I'm gonna be on my way. Oh, you are not a normal penguin. Hello, hold on. So uh, disappointingly, um, yeah, uh, it's it's no worky on my controller. <laughs> now the interesting thing about these hot springs I've noticed is, I remember this from when I used to play. You can actually stay in here until you overheat. Which is kind of an asset, because, yeah, you can get very warm and stay very warm and go a lot further. <laughs> oh, we need to do fishing here, too, didn't we? All right. Okay, let's let's do a little fishing, see if we can catch, I think it's the New World Rainbow Fish or something like that. Let's, let's see if we can find one. We might be able to. All right, I'm gonna give up on this, although I will send this one to the aquarium, because that's the biggest one that we caught. I caught only... Oh, wait a minute. We can throw the warm stone in here. And we get a cool stone. Intriguing. I vaguely remember this. But yeah, um... The... We only caught smelt in that pool, so I don't think... I don't think we're, we want to be messing around with that. I don't think we need to. I gosh. Okay, we came from this direction, because that's the penguin that we couldn't beat in the game, because my controller literally will not do the inputs. So let's keep heading this way. I think this is the way through, probably. Oh, this is like straight up actual ice that we're running on. And I did see that there's a level four stone back there. So that's something we'll want to come back to. I think before the final fight, we'll want to poke around and see what's behind a lot of those rocks. No, Mr. Bear, leave me alone. Oh, it's right here. I was like, wait a minute, is the bear the only thing over here? No, this looks important. Here we are, we found the ice crystal. It's very pretty, actually. And there we have it. Excellent! The ice crystal is ours! Now we can make the magic shield! Let's hurry back to Theophilus! We've handed it over. Holy goodness gracious, the wizard pays well. Finally. Now we've gathered all the items we need. Now we should be able to make the magic shield. But I don't think I can do this alone. After all, we're talking about creating an item capable of resisting the magic hat. That's too much magic for one dog. I'm not keen on the idea, but we're going to need the help of my younger brother. With the power of the ice crystal, you can now push all rocks. This means you'll be able to get through all places still blocked by rocks. Which brings us back to the main point. Piper, can I ask this of you? My younger brother's name is Bartholomew. He went out to Gongoro Peak more than 10 years ago and still hasn't come back. I'm sure he just got sidetracked by something or other. A very common occurrence for him, I assure you. So please, go look for him. This is what he smells like. <laughs> You're just straight up giving this the scent of your brother. <laughs> oh my goodness. In order to get out to, to Gongoro Peak, you need to pass through Lonesome Park from Jade Fields. Oh my goodness, we've never been there. Ooh, you have food buried in your house. Did you know that? Don't mind if I do. Wait, there's something entirely new here? Hold on. What do you have? Oh, just normal dog food. Okay. I'm gonna sniff around the swamp, too, because there were definitely some things over here. Oh, there's a sheep we should try to catch, too. There's definitely- that's a panda. Oh, we got a peony. 
Oh, you can scare these guys. <laughs> I didn't even realize you could do that by barking at them. What do you have? Is it another fuzzball? A soft fuzzball? Ooh, that'll be something new. And what about you? I'm gonna look around for some of the secrets we've missed. Aha! You're going to face me in a barrel ride battle. Okay. This is going to require me to have coordination, isn't it? Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, this isn't so bad, actually. We're not doing too poorly. Oh yeah, we, we are kind of kicking this guy's butt, actually. <laughs> Yeah, this ain't so bad. I'm glad I can actually play this one. I'm very sad that I didn't get to do curling with the penguin, but it just was not working. <gasps> oh, oh, except I, I'm, I'm slipping, y'all. I'm slipping. I'm choking. <laughs> Whoa, okay. That was a little too far. A little bit too far. But we got it. We got it. 45 seconds. That is not too bad. What have I been doing? I think Evelet cast some magic on me, but then... Hope I didn't inconvenience you. I'll just lumber on back to the zoo. Ah, 150 gold for that. Okay. I don't know how many zoo animals we've actually saved, but we, we, we've dealt with quite a lot of them. Now, I want to get to... Oh, there's a bug here. Hello? Oh, you look different. Common brimstone. Oh, and I think we can access these chests now, too. Maybe? Ah, uh, do we have to frickin' swim to that one? Are you joking? Look, the only way you can get to that is by swimming. Oh, I hate that. Well, there's an antidote here, at least. Oh, there's something over here, I think. What is this? It's probably a flower. Usually flowers... Oh yeah, hydrangea. Oh, we got eight flowers. A decorated hat, color three, okay. All right, yep, we can climb in the water here, can't we? Oh, there's an antidote, fortunately. All right. So, um, oh, this is, this is just gonna be painful. All right. We should heal up, and then the game's gonna... Uh, this had better be worth it if the game is gonna force me to jump in the poison swamp. All right, YOLO. Oh, boy. Okay, this is not awful, actually. All right. We got... That was only half a heart. Maybe this is not so terrible. <laughs> okay. What is this? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna... There's another flower here, I think. Oh, it might be on that island, actually. Oh, a fig! Interesting! Oh, 20 fruits and vegetables! Or another fur cap. Oh, something new here. Blueberries. Well, okay. All right, we're back in the swamp. There's something here that I wanted to investigate, so uh, I was gonna do that anyway, but... <laughs> An orchid. Cool. Ooh, Camberwell Beauty. That's a pretty butterfly. Ooh. Pyridae? Pyridae, I think is what it is. I don't think we'd caught that one before. Whoa, okay. How about y'all don't? Ooh, wait, there's still an area that's blocked off over here, right? Oh, we gotta go a little further. Leave me alone. Yes, we can move this now, can't we? What's back here? 
Something I've never smelled before. A rose! Oh, we should so definitely plant that. So, I have not shown this, but you can, like, you can... You can actually use the flower beds. <laughs> yeah, let's plant some roses. Ooh, what would go good with roses? Maybe some pansies? I think... Do we have more spots than that? Oh, it over... It overwrote the rose. I'm so mad. I thought you could put something else. <laughs> no, I thought you could put more things. Did it give us the roses back at least? It probably didn't. I thought you could put more than one thing there. No! Well, rip to that idea, but we can't at least release insects. We can put... We can put this is a very pretty one. So I'm not gonna put try to put more than one here. I don't trust that, but you can see there's a butterfly. Okay, so I think the place we have to go. Hello? Oh, you're a zoo animal. It's time for a flag race battle, grunt grunt. I do recall this one. Oh goodness. Alright, so it's over this way, gosh. I think we'll outspeed just on virtue of... Oh, yeah. Oh, we can jump right up here. I forgot about that. Ah! What? What do you mean? Okay, swim. I think this will be faster-ish. Oh, about the same pace. No! No, we're gonna lose. Yeah, rip. This is a little bit hard to control. I've decided to not take most of the shortcuts here and to just run the normal race course and apparently that's what did it. What? What have I been doing? I believe that Evelet cast some sort of spell on me. Hope I didn't cause you too much trouble. Sorry about that. I'll just ramble on back to the zoo. I I'm a mildly upset at how many tries that took me because of the darn camera controls. <laughs> and it's fine. All right. Can we get through back here? We sure can. Oh, yes. A lonesome park. I had not even realized this is back here. Let me push the rock. Please let me push the rock. Yeah, this area is new. Oh. Ah, uh, the hecker returns. And that hat ain't looking so good. You don't sound good either, buddy. Ah, tornadoes. Because why wouldn't there be tornadoes? Watch out for those whirlwinds. Okay, you are- okay, you're an animal. I can approach you safely. You're not a wild one. Here we go, a chicken race battle! Oh boy. This is another timing one. Alright. Oops. Oh, he's actually going to score. Oh my goodness, he scored really well. All right, let's try that again. There, 
That's more like it. 90 points. I'll take it. Oh, we still did better. I think he did a little bit better than his last time, but we still beat him. There we go. That's more like it. What in blazes? I recall Evelyn casting a spell on me. Oh dear, I must have really been bothering you. I'll just trot on back to the zoo. And we've gotten- <laughs> this game is just handing out money. Oh, there's a tornado pretty dang close. We gotta be mindful. And lions. I guess this is their natural habitat. I have changed into something a bit more weather appropriate. I didn't think the, um... The, the desert would be the best place to be completely bundled up. Hello, tornadoes. I would like to be able to speak. We, we, we did make it around the corner, at least. I'm Bruce. I live in this village. I'm amazed you made it here in the whirlwinds. You've been through worse? How brave. Hey, I know. Maybe you can help me with something. Listen to this. This whole area suffered from whirlwinds for many years. But then a traveler came along and cast some magic that sealed the whirlwinds away. There hasn't been any damage from whirlwinds ever since. That traveler must have been a powerful wizard. But now, thanks to that villain Evelet, the whirlwinds are back again. Now everyone's gonna have to suffer again. I bet you can guess what it is I'm gonna ask, then. We need someone to find that traveler and get him to cast that spell again. He headed off towards Gongoro Peak. But it seems no one ever saw him come back down. The only way to Gongoro Peak is through this village. So it's safe to say he's still up on Gongoro Peak. Can I make this request to you? Ah, one more thing. The Traveler was wearing a ring. You learn the smell of anti-tornado ring, oh my goodness. Following that smell should lead you right to him. The road from behind the village leads to Gongoro Peak. And we've unlocked a warp, yay! The buffalo here are very dangerous, so watch out! Oh, be gangy boys. The buffalo may not notice us if you hide as you go along. Okay, so we gotta be careful of that. Ooh, there are many of them. Very many of them. We might have to, uh... Get some more use out of our, our sneaking abilities. Did they actually come after us? No, that one didn't. There is also an, uh, an animal somewhere over here, I think. Oh, it's a lion. Okay. Hey, buddy. I challenge you to a hockey battle. That's a... okay. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, can we? Oh, he's gonna... No! This is a... <laughs> great game mechanic. Oh! Yes! He... he's just... okay. Great job, buddy. <laughs> You're doing your best. Oh, that one! Oh, that's actually gonna go in mine! No! You're really doing my work for me. You really are. Come on! Yes! No! Good job. Oh, he did save it. Oh! That might not be good. 
Oh, nope, he he whiffed it. Okay. <laughs> I'm a hurting dog. You can't beat me at my own game. <laughs> What have I been doing? I seem to recall Evelet casting a spell on me. As king of the jungle, I am ashamed of the way I've acted. I'll just run on back to the zoo. Another 1500 gold! Alright. We saved another animal. That might be all of them, actually. I'm not sure. Oh, I want to catch these guys. Give me your items! Large flower, okay. They they really just look like peeps, I'm sorry. Chickens. A black feather. That lion isn't moving at all. How about throwing a stone to get its attention? Uh-oh. Oh, you really are just chilling there. Alright, where's a rock? Problems are solved by throwing rocks, we know this. Okay, buddy. I missed. When in doubt, throw a rock. Oh, he's mad! <laughs> I want to get behind. What's going on? What's going on? What's up here? What's up here? Hello? There's something here. Oh no, I hear the lion! Oh, good gosh! Healing! Healing! <laughs> I may be having a mild problem. Uh, maybe just a little one. Okay. Okay, that was not the best idea I've ever had. Lesson learned. The, the lion gets mad when you chuck a rock at him. So we should move. He's going- No, he goes back, though! What do you mean he goes back? Oh, wait. Okay. Well, why- what do you mean that? I didn't even have to go back that way! Alright, whatever's back there is not heckin' worth it. There- there is something over there. There very much is something over there. There's a pomegranate. Hello? Sniff sniff? What are you? You're a dog, apparently. Whew, thanks. I turned myself into a rock. So I could safely observe other rocks as they fell. But I've been at it for decades. I've been bonded with these rocks for so long. I was almost about to turn into a rock for real. Oh my goodness, sir. But what's this? I sense a great deal of activity out in the world. Whatever is going on? You explained everything. <laughs> no, the magic hat was stolen? What was my brother doing? I need to talk to him about this. First things first, though. The whirlwind's in Lonesome Park. Ah! This isn't good, is, isn't good at all. I've been a rock for so long, I'm still unsteady on my paws. I guess this is what getting old is all about. I should recover shortly. But I won't be able to seal away the whirlwinds like this. Here, you try. Got the anti-tornado ring! <laughs> Don't worry, it's simple. The owner of this, the anti-tornado ring, needs only to throw a rock into the whirlwind. See, all so problems are solved by throwing rocks at them. The magic transferred from the ring to the rock will seal the whirlwind away again. I know you can handle this. Oh, there's a bug here. But are you, are you, no, you're not a silver butterfly. A day. Oh, we've seen those elsewhere. I don't even know why this lion is here. But now I feel like I need to know. Like, this is gonna be something important. 
Come here, stupid. Chase me. All right, chase me, buddy. Chase me, buddy. Okay, if I... He's chasing me again. Never mind. Maybe if I throw enough rocks at him, I can continue to lead him away. Hey, chase me, stupid. No! Come on. That's right. No, nope, but he goes back. Why why are you like this? Oh, you can scare him. Okay. All right. I think I get what the order of operations is now. Oh, he still got me. That was not what I wanted. Yeah, chase me, a hecker. Where's the rock? There's the rock. I need to lure him further away. Where's the rock? Give me the rock. <laughs> Come on. All right. I think we're not truly going to get Okay. Oh, ouch, she still got me. Okay, I probably need to heal up. This may not be worth it. Okay, we hurry, we hurry. This is potentially going to be bad. Come on, hurry. Okay, we probably need to hide. Okay, I'm just gonna make a run for it. He's right there. Uh, that was very much not worth it, by the way. <laughs> Oh, I spent so much dog food on that. Wait, there's something back here that's blocked off, though. Where's the nearest rock? All right. How about you take a nice little snooze so that I can go push this big rock out of the way and see what we've got back here? Hello. Something good, I hope. It looks like multiple treasure chests, if I can figure out. Ooh, there's an insect as well. There's some good stuff back here. What are you? A purple spotted swallowtail. A tuxedo. Nice. And a western shirt. Oh, we might have to we might have to do a bit of an upgrade maybe before uh before the time comes to to fight Evelet. Okay, we made it back. Suppose we should talk to Bruce, maybe. Did you find the traveler who cast that spell in the whirlwinds? What? You're gonna cast that spell and seal away the whirlwinds again? Are you sure about this? Well, then I'll leave it to ya. Alright! And I think next time we'll have to go ahead and do that. Head back to Lonesome Park and seal away the whirlwinds. But we've been at this for a bit. We've done quite a lot of shenanigans. So I think we are going to go ahead. We'll leave this off here for today. Because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.